On today's episode, we're going to be talking about primers. We've got a few different scenarios here that we're going to run through. On the front of the car here, we've stripped it down to bare metal. So for that, we're going to use Dupacolor's self-etching primer. That's going to give us nice adhesion to the metal and some corrosion resistance there. Now down the side of the car, on our fender here, it's pretty rough here, so we're going to use Dupacolor's professional primer. And because we don't want to get our spray gun out just yet, we're actually going to roll that on. It's going to give us a nice thick primer that we can come back and sand this area and get something smooth to paint over. And on our door here, it's a little bit rough, but not too bad. We're going to use Dupacolor's filler primer on this, get a couple nice coats on there, and sand that down to get a nice smooth surface. Now, after we apply all of these, we want to go ahead and seal all that off. Now for this, since we're doing the whole car, we're going to use Paint Shop's primer because we're going to spray that on the entire body. But if you're just doing a small area at home, you can use the aerosol primer sealer from Dupacolor to just touch up those minor spots. Now we still want a nice clean surface to go ahead and get started, so we're going to use Dupacolor's prep spray, get all these panels cleaned up, and start our priming. Now even though we're just priming, we still want to prep spray and clean these parts up. We want to make sure the primer has good adhesion. So we're just going to spray some prep spray down and wipe off all the surface contaminants. The first thing we're going to do is hit the front end here with the Dupacolor self-etching primer. Now when applying this, you want to apply just a couple light coats. You want to make sure to get nice, even coverage over all the bare metal areas. The Dupacolor self-etching primer is going to give us adhesion and corrosion resistance over these bare metal areas. So we got two coats of our self-etching primer down. We got nice coverage over all of our bare metal areas. But we have a couple spots here with some pitting, so we're gonna come back in about a half hour and hit those with some filler primer, get those sanded up, and this front end will be ready to go. So our Scout here has been painted a few times previously. This door was in pretty good shape, but we used some pretty aggressive sandpaper to go ahead and knock this paint off. So we're gonna come back and fill some of these sand scratches in with Dupacolor's filler primer. We're just gonna put a few Nice even coats on there to give us a nice level surface that we can come back and sand, get it nice and smooth and ready for painting. Now when applying Dupacolor's filler primer, you want to go with nice even light coats. You want to avoid any runs because we're trying to create a nice smooth surface that we can come back and sand. Now that we've got a few coats down, we're going to let this dry for about two hours. We're going to come back and sand it nice and smooth. Now on our fender here, we've got some pretty deep sand scratches and some other gouges and nicks and scrapes. So we're going to use Dupacolor's Professional Primer. We're going to use a roller instead of a spray gun. That's going to help us keep overspray down and get a nice even coat on our fender here so we can come back and sand that down smooth and get it ready to paint. So we got our first coat down, we let it dry for about 10 minutes. You can see this is flashed off, we're already ready for our second coat. You can build this up as much as you need to fill in whatever scratches you have. For this, we're only going to need about two or three coats. And after that, we just have to wait about a half hour, and we're going to be able to come back and sand this. We've got all our primer sanded down, we've got it real nice and smooth and ready to go. 
So here we are in the booth. We've got this car ready to go, and we're going to hit it with the paint shop primer to seal off all this body work. We're going to hook up the gun and go right around the car. Now, if we just had a small area, we could use the Dupacolor primer sealer in aerosol, but we're going to go ahead and use this bulk and go around real quickly. So our car is fully primed now and ready for paint shop. We used the etch primer on the front of the car for our bare metal areas. We did our deep gouges with the roll-on professional primer and we hit some areas with the filler primer. We sealed it all off with our paint shop primer and we're ready to go with our color. Now the most important step to any paint shop is the prep and Dupacolor had all the products we needed to get these panels nice and smooth and ready to paint. For more information on all the primers we used here, and all of our other products, be sure to check out our website and stay tuned as we continue to work on this 1969 International Scout.